Okay, good, it's going. Heidi ho, our peeps! It's Munch Pack Day! What? Oh, <laughs> Munch Pack. <laughs> All right, so what is this? This is Munch Pack for June, of, no, probably? No, this is for May. Is okay. May. All righty, so let's see. First of all, oh, honey, can you hold oh, the Munch Pack? Yeah. We got our little card. From? It says that it's been made, uh, packed with love just for us by Roxanne. Um, thank you so much, Roxanne. All right. Now, so when we first opened it this time, this is what we saw. So, darling, I will hold. which one would you like to start with? Well, Lay's cucumber flavor from oh, China. Let's do it. Lay's sounds, cucumber flavor. Oh. <clears throat> that sounds wonderful. Let me, hang on, I'm, I'm falling, oh, I'm not going to fall out of frame exactly, but I'm looking for scissors? my scissors. scissors. Uh, well, they don't seem like scissors. Well, I could give you an alternative. Oh, I know. I just, I start to freak if I can't find my scissors. Uh, well, that could be a problem. We've got scissors in here. Those scissors. are not scissors. These are scissors. Okay, all my crafting friends, would you call those scissors? Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> Please. Okay. Here you go, honey. Thanks, though. It, it gets I us have started. my scissors. Like, you don't have your scissors. This is true. He's got a point. Yeah. All right, so this is Lay's Cucumber Flavor Chips from China. Smells like cucumber. Well, that's an important element. We're doing this tonight. I said, oh, honey, let's do this tomorrow. He says, no. He says, you've got calories left over today. Let's do it today. <laughs> <laughs> Not what you expect in potato, potato chips. It no, tastes good. but I like it. Yeah. Here, I'm going to take another little. How are you taking another little? I slept through lunch today, so I am about 300 calories below what I normally aim for every day. Mm, that was good. Good. Thumbs up. Loving it. What's next? Well, we need to go with some more with some Cheetos from Mexico. Okay. Okay. Grant has really been enjoying Cheetos style, uh, or actually, um, yeah, Cheetos style snacks. Here recently, so that's good. These will be put to good use. Oh, they're little balls. Oh, bolitas. Well, of course, they're little balls. I didn't read that part. Bolitas. Okay, here we go. That's good. Very good. Barbecue-ish? They have sort of a barbecue-ish flavor. Oh, no, it says cheesy corn balls with a spicy kick. So, yeah. They're not yeah. very hot, though. Mm. No, they're, they're not. Good. They're good. Really nice flavor, but not hot. Not, you know. Not caliente. More picante. Pretz sticks from Thailand. Pretz, pizza pretz, crunchy baked snack sticks with savory pizza flavor. Okay, let's see what that's all about. I think we need to, yeah. There you go. All right, there's a savory stick for you and one for me. On guard. No. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a pizza flavor. That, it's exactly what it says it is. It is a savory pizza snack stick, and it's yummy. Very nice. Very, very nice. Very good. All right, what's next up? 
Mm, we've got some rock salt flavor biscuits from with chofu biscuits well, from read, Taiwan. Yeah, let me read it. Um, I have no idea what rock salt flavor is, except for maybe just to tell us that they're a salty snack. Um, so that's what the packaging looks like. Maybe the pink is supposed to insinuate that they're but that pink would be, salt. But that would be Himalayan, right? Yeah, well, but maybe they don't want to talk there about that. There you go. Oh, mine is a monkey face. What's yours? Yours is a pig face. Ah. Uh -huh. We should have exchanged them. I've got more of the pig face, and he's more of the monkey face. But that's oh, okay. thank you. Thank you. I was going to make a nasty joke, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Can you hand that? Oh, yes, I will. I was going to say, well, at least we could eat each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. These are Ossetir Mamul cookies. Traditional Middle Eastern style buttery cookie made with dates from United Arab, Arab, Arab Emirates. 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 Okay. Okay. And this is one big, bad. big, bad cookie right here. So I'm just going to pull off some. Grant, there you go. Oh, I crumbled it. Yeah. How does the cookie crumble? I would just leave it in its thing and just pick that up the crumble itself. Mm. Man, that's good. Very buttery. Let me take a look at the um, ingredients on this. It has um, real dates and butter. They don't taste the dates, but it tastes good. Oh, here we go. Wheat flour ghee, which is a kind of butter. Uh, it's a way of making your butter, right. take, taking out the solids. Milk powder, yeast, date paste, cinnamon powder, sugar, glucose, vanillin. Okay. I just need to make a comment here about Middle Eastern snacks. My son noticed years ago that when he, when he bought something from our local Middle Eastern grocery store and he looked at the ingredients, they were all, it was always very, very simple. No added, um, at least on, on the label, there was no added um, preservatives or anything like that. Real simple. You know, butter, sugar, eggs, and milk would be in your cookies and that kind of thing. So um, I have a, I think I, th I have a um, kind of an affinity for Middle Eastern prepackaged foods because they seem to be cleaner than other prepackaged foods. Look at this. That's Italian just an thing. aside. All right. We have an Italian thing. It is a crust, crustatine, crustatine cocoa. Um, hazelnut cream tart. Oh my gosh, that sounds wonderful. It does. Sweet crumbly shortbread cookie with cocoa and hazelnut cream. That's that. Grant's our hazelnut hound in the house because he loves his Nutella, which you haven't eaten in quite a while, have you, no, sweetie? I, I haven't eaten too much Nutella. Yeah. I do like it though. Yeah, he sure does. Oh, look at how pretty this little thing is. Hmm. Nice and it looks pretty. like a pinwheel. It does. Good. It's crunchy, obviously. It crunched when I pulled that part off. Okay. And here we go. Mmm, mm, that's yummy. Very oh my. Oh my. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Mmm. Not one thing has been even remotely nasty. I mean, excellent yeah. so far. From Romania, Milka. Okay. A Milka Tinder Break. Milka Tinder Break. Another shortbread thing. I love shortbread. Crispy shortbread cookie bar with a layer of milk chocolate filled with chocolate cream. Huh. 
Oh, we scored tonight with all this yeah. shortbread. Yeah. And they're a Belgian or Netherlands. Okay, this one is also crumbling. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to break off a piece. We're sitting at the kitchen sink, so I just broke that off over the kitchen sink. You could just bite it right off the top because you're going to finish eating that anyway. Ready? Mmm. Delicious. Yeah, excellent. Hazelnutty. I think that, I think that Italian one was my favorite in terms of consistency because I like the crunch and the cream. This is kind of crumbly and creamy, but it's still very good. Wonderful. All right, darling. I can probably put it back in there since we've got enough room now. What next? Um, we've got a crazy one, a, a roller. It's like a okay, like, gummy, like a fruit strip thing. It's extra sour. Uh, from Spain. Roller candy from Spain, so it's it's a gummy roller candy, and it is in the flavor blue raspberry. Oh, that reminds me of my childhood, and Kool Aid. <laughs> Kool-Aid always had interesting flavors. I remember Goofy Grape. That was the one we all loved so much. Goofy Grape. Okay, I'm going to pull off a little bit for Grant. Thank you. I'm going to pull off a little bit for me. It does come in a long strip, so it's all rolled up strip. Go. It's a little bit sour. Blue Raspberry. It's sour. I don't, I, would you call that extra sour? Not really. Not extra really. sour, but it's sour. It's just a nice, pleasant, sour, sugary blue taste. Exactly what it's supposed to be. Now we've got one here, which is a grape candy from Japan. Pachao grape. Chewy, individually wrapped candies. Okay, along the line of Haichu or um, what's that other one? The one we eat here in the United States. Sure. I, I hate the fact that I'm old and I can't remember crap anymore. Are you talking about like gummy or chew, um, the ones that are like a little square? It's not Skittles, but it's akin to Skittles. The little like square ones. Shoes. Yeah, what are those called, you guys? Well, you guys know remember. what they're called. I can't remember. Not sweet tarts. No. Oh, Lord. They're, it looks like they have a filling that's maybe a clear kind of filling then with that oh, yeah. opaque stuff around the that's outside. Neat. Okay, here we go. Starburst! Starburst! Mm -hmm. God. Not this. I mean, Starburst is the thing I couldn't remember. Mm -hmm. Well, that's an interesting flavor. Interesting. Very different. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff going on here. <laughs> I detect cleaning supplies. The, and, yeah, I get all that. Yeah, do you really? Yeah. You get cleaning supplies? Mm -hmm. I get... Remind me of, a lay, uh, of going to the pool or something. I get personal hygiene products like... <laughs> Like a um, deodorant aimed at teenagers. <laughs> you know, teen spirit. Um, I pick up... Um, the smell of the inside of a new car from the 1960s. <laughs> boy, oh boy, you're catching all kinds of them. Oh, this is... This is an intricate flavor. <laughs> Grape, of course. Wow. See, just for nostalgia value, I would eat these. You know? <laughs> it takes you back. Yeah. Smoke a little weed <laughs> right till you're, you know, three quarters of the way high. And you eat one of these and lie back and remember... Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. We always like those Belgian waffle cookie things. This is Netherlands. Stroop waffles, yes. We've had these before. 
Different brand. Different brand, but... Always good. Always good. So we'll see if these are also as good as they should be. There, are, They give you two nice big waffle cookies in here. Um, the problem with the big waffle cookies is that they are... Um, oh, no, this is one huge waffle cookie. Take that back, I think. I can't tell. Well, let's do this. Let's do this. Let me take a bite, and then you can take a bite. Okay. Just a yummy waffle cookie, exactly what it's supposed to be. Right? Absolutely. Oh. And now it's Fanta. Last up, it's Fanta. Um, oh, where did we say where those were from? The Netherlands. Yeah, right? the Netherlands. Okay. This Fanta elderberry soda from Croatia. Hmm. I'm going to open, I'm gonna open this over the sink, too. It's cool. It already did its own thing. Don't need this on your computer. No, no. The only thing I need on my computer is more gigabytes of space. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't detect any elderberry, do you? Oh, let me try it again. That doesn't seem like elderberry to me. No, I don't detect elderberry. I detect sweet. I detect maybe a little orange flavor. Something a little citrusy. It's interesting. Look at a wasp waste this thing has. Mm -hmm. It's a wasp wasted container. Yes. See if there's a label that shows any of the other. Um, I also detect a lot of soda flavor. You can taste the salt from the soda water. It's okay if I were running around somewhere and I pulled a cold one of these out of somebody's garbage can full of ice, I would drink it happily and be glad that I had it. Yep. Um, it's a kid drink, obviously, so so I wouldn't choose it. Let me just take a peeky-poo at the... You, you can't read the ingredients. They're in Croatian. They didn't do them in English. They do have salt in here, though, S-O-L. And if you wanted a lot of salt in this, you are SOL because there's only 0 0.08 grams. Oh. <laughs> so I don't know what I was tasting. Sugar is uh, 18 grams. That's a lot of sugar. It's about normal for that container. Everything else looks like there's like nothing in it but flavoring and color. Here you go, baby. Oh, wait. Fruity soda flavored with elderberry and a hint of lemon. So I was just picking up the lemon. Yeah, the I'm gonna I'm gonna hand all this stuff back to Grant so he can put it back in his in the box in the box which he is going to squirrel away and hide from me. <laughs> um, I don't think that I'm in too much danger of trying to find these and eat them in the middle of the night. But Grant just is, in case Grant is very um, uh, thoughtful that way when <laughs> when when we have something in the house that you know I might get up and eat at, you know, 3.47 in the morning. He generally has it fairly well put away, so I'm, you know, I'm safe. Um, wow, thank you, Munch Pack. Another really good one. I really one. liked this one. And um, Grant is going to enjoy eating the rest of it. And Absolutely. as always, look in the down bar, there's going to be a link so that if you have never tried a Munch Pack before, you can um, use whatever discount they're giving me. I, I think it changes on a month-to-month -month basis for you guys. So go ahead and check that out and see if you can't get a get a deal on your first one. So I had a good time. Did you have a good time? Absolutely. Okay, good. Now we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go fall asleep in our recliners in front of <laughs> front of the re of the TV like old people. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>